Hi, in this video we'll look at how you can complement your manual testing with Burp Scanner. In addition to its automated testing capabilities, Burp Scanner can also be a powerful tool in your manual testing workflow, enabling you to investigate items or areas of interest without having to scan your entire application. For example, you can use Scanner to perform targeted scans on specific requests, which you can then investigate further using Burp's manual testing tools. If you'd like to follow along, you can use our deliberately vulnerable website, ginandjuice.shop. First, we'll look at scanning a specific request. To do this, go to Proxy, Intercept, click on Open Browser and explore your target application. You can now go to the Proxy History tab to take a closer look at the requests that have been sent. When you spot a request of interest, you can right-click and choose to scan, do passive scan, or do active scan. Scan will allow you to adjust the scan's configuration before it starts. Do passive scan will run an audit-only scan of the unmodified request and the response it received. Do active scan will run an audit-only scan using the default configuration. This will involve sending modified requests containing payloads to probe for additional vulnerabilities. Once you've started the scan, if you switch to the Dashboard tab, you can monitor the progress and view the results. But also gives you the option to manually define insertion points and limit the audit phase of the scan to use only those insertion points so you can focus on specific inputs that you want to test and reduce the number of requests required. This also lets you scan a request using inputs that Burp Scanner would normally ignore, such as custom header values. To manually define and scan one or more insertion points in one request, right-click the relevant request and select Send to Intruder. In the Message Editor, highlight the parts of the request you want to use as your insertion points. Click Add to define each one. We'll just set one here for the category. If you define multiple insertion points, Burp scans each insertion point separately. Once you've added the insertion points, right-click the request and choose Scan Defined Insertion Point. Configure your scan options and check the dashboard for the results. In a similar way, you can also target a specific substring within a value, which can be useful for scanning non-standard data structures. Supposing you have an application where the username contains a dash, for example, numbers dash name, and the two parts could be seen as separate data points by the target application. You can use Burp Intruder to define these as separate payloads without compromising the structure of the data. As in the previous example, once you've defined the two insertion points, you can right-click and select Scan Defined Insertion Points. After performing your scans, you can send requests to Burp Organizer if there are any you want to investigate at a later date without having to scan or browse through your target application again. To do this, right-click a request and select Send to Organizer.